Hi guys, it's Monica. I am coming to you from inside my motorhome where I've been camping for the last week up in Booth Bay Harbor in Maine. I'm not too sure when I'm going to get this uploaded, but I'm sure it'll be once I'm home. So what I thought I'd talk about is when you go camping. Now, yes, I know. Some people are going to say, I don't go camping. What I'm doing is called glamping. And yeah, maybe it is glamping because Jay and I have a motorhome. It's a 40-foot uh, a diesel pusher that we bought used many years ago. And uh, we have loved it and gone away as often as possible with it. It's an investment, but when we travel, we bring our home with us in many cases. So the only thing I usually have to restock, aside from food and clean clothing and uh, things of that nature, would be my cosmetics because I'm not going to leave them in there. There are some items that I do leave in there. For example, I always leave my a couple of different cleaning, skin cleaning items in the motorhome. I have these sort of like, this is an avocado cucumber wet wipe, which is great for taking off your makeup and really trying to be the first phase of your cleansing because I do try to do deep cleaning while I'm away. I try to make sure I do double cleansing. So I usually sometimes will start with a wipe. Sometimes I wet it down with more water and really go over it. Now that is after I've taken my mascara off and I usually take my mascara off. It's washable so it's not waterproof so it's a lot easier to take off but I'll usually an equate oil-free solution and I wipe that off and then I'll go in and I typically when camping will start with this this is very gentle on my skin I really like it and that's sort of like my first layer and then I might and I'm not you know I'm not really a fanatic on what I use to wash my face with I use a lot of CeraVe at home but I also buy a lot of stuff from TJ Maxx and so this is a product that I bought it's a cleansing milk it's for dry and sensitive skin so I like that because my skin is sensitive and it is dry. So I, I, I do look for something that is going to be more hydrating. So I'll typically put this on my wet skin. And because I bought it in TJ Maxx at a great price, I use a lot of it. So I put this on my skin and then I have my dupe, which I talked about in a previous video. And I'm telling you, I'm loving using this. And I just very gently go through my face with this. This is a dupe of my Foreo Mini that I really, really love and that I have at home. So this stays in the motorhome. It works absolutely perfect. It makes sure that I get my skin nice and clean. And then I take the time to try to rinse it all off. And I think when I'm camping, that's the hardest thing because sometimes I don't have full hookups. I have water. I try to be a little bit more conservative with water consumption. So I always have to remind myself when I'm camping to still take the time to wash everything off and make sure your skin is clean. I usually have a toner, a witch hazel toner. I, I usually carry around a few of them. And then I'll go in with my, in the morning, depending on if it's morning or night, but I'll go in and I have my, my regular timeless, my vitamin C plus E, folic acid, my Matrixyl 3000 serum, and I have my ordinary caffeine. These are the three solutions that I bring with me. I put them in the refrigerator. I also have for at night my ordinary and this is my niacinamide. I use this every single night. So in the morning I'm going to put on my serums and then once my serums are done and dry I typically am going to moisturize my skin and I end up using an Aragon oil more times than not, I put this all over my skin. I will use a pure hyaluronic acid. I carry that with me. And then I just let it all absorb into my skin. And at that point in time, depending on where I'm at, I start with my, my sunblock. So currently I'm using the Australian Gold, uh, the Mineral Lotion, no, uh, the Tinted Face. This is 50 SPF. I really like it. And that's what I'm currently using. And that might be it. From that point on, if I'm camping, uh, you know, I'm not going to wear a whole lot of makeup. But I do have, I do carry along, uh, I have my It Cosmetics. I have my Bye Bye Redness which I try in vain to cover my veins. No pun intended. My skin is very veiny. I've got a lot of those little broken cap capillaries things. And so I try in vain to cover my redness. It doesn't really much work. But I don't typically carry a whole lot of makeup with me. 
I do have a couple of little things. I do like the It Cosmetics. This is kind of beat up because I've been using it. This is the It Cosmetics Naturally Pretty. It's the very first palette I ever got. You can see I've, I've hit the pan in many of these. So I, I do use this. And then currently I'm just hanging around with two CoverGirl little palettes that I, I bring with me. And um, they're very... I like the shades. And so I'm not a really heavy eyeshadow person because I'm still learning, but I do like to try to add a little definition to my eyes. So other than that, the only other makeup item that I have is my Physician's Formula Cushion Foundation. This is also 50 SPF. Again, this is camping. So in camping things, life is very, very different. I usually carry a couple of little brushes with me for my eyeshadow. And then I have an Avon lip liner that I still use. A couple of different lipsticks. Currently I've, I'm carrying three and most of these I've shown in the past. This is hard candy and I think I bought this simply because of the packaging. I just thought it was a pretty looking container and uh, the lipstick's okay. It's just okay. I won't buy it again but that's currently what I have in the motorhome. The others are my tried and true that I've had in the motorhome. I particularly like my Rimmel number 45. I wear that a lot. And then for my eyes, I carry the two Rimmel Scandal Eye Sticks, the white and the, uh, the pink. And I've shown these both. And that just gives me a little bit of coloring, etc. And then my Scandal Eyes, this is the eyeliner that I, and I really like this. It's waterproof. I, I can go up into my waterline. I can also give myself a little bit of an eyeliner. And then just the, and this is also a Rimmel product. And this is the Nude Stick kind of just kind of lightens up a little bit of the of the inside. I also have with me, but have not really used much at all, is the um, It Cosmetic CCI, and it's 50 SPF. This, this I really like for eye brightening, but I notice that I have to be very, very careful how I apply it because I have a lot of wrinkles and creepy, creepy, skin, especially, you know, uh, in my eyes, underneath my eyes. So very, very liberal with putting that on. Other than that, my nighttime routine is very, very simple. I do the same thing. I wash my face. I have this little pouch in here. This little pouch in here, I have my, my Retin-A. My Retin-A is in here. I bring all three tubes with me because I have three different tube strengths. And yes, I still apply my Retin-A when I am camping. And then depending on how long I'm gone, if I'm gone for 10 days, I make sure that I apply my Care Prost because I use this twice a week. And so I have my Care Prost in here as well so that I can apply it in my Bee Venom. So my Bee Venom is, it, it is a every night, every night um, event. I've been using the rosehip oil for quite a while. I've been using it on my neck and I've also been doing the Retin-A, the weaker dose of the Retin-A, Retin the 0 0.2.5 on my neck. I'm very gentle with that. I'm, I'm a little leery. I don't want to have a, a bunch of reactions. I'm also been putting it a little bit on my upper, my upper, or I should say my lower brow right here area, and a little bit here, but very, 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 very little amount. I, I just don't want to have any kind of reaction. And the other thing that I've been doing, which I'm not ready to talk about my feelings yet, is I have been trying now for two weeks the Nevea skin firming and smoothing. This is the concentrated serum and I've been trying this for the last couple of weeks on my I sh my little fat pockets on the inside of my eyes. So I uh, I'm not ready to review it yet. It's too soon to know whether or not I've I have a difference. I I do do it on my bags a little bit and for a a day or two I thought it was actually making my bags worse. And now my bags seem to calm down. But I also use the caffeine solution during the day on my eye bags. So the Nevea is at night only. So being prepared for camping, even if I didn't have a glamper, a motorhome camper, and I was camping in my tent, which I have. Jay and I have actually flown to Florida, pitched our tent on a beach down there. And I guess we're both closet hippies still because, yeah, we thought that was a really cool adventure. You know, we packed our tent and flew down there and... We, we camped on the beach in this little sort of, you know, two-person, extreme weather, all-weather tent. And my makeup, believe it or not, would not take up much. I mean, I would just need a little bag for what I need to need to need to have. And uh, I'm not talking hair care, of course. And blow dryer. And curling iron. And 
I, had, I have, well, toothpaste, toothbrush, that's not going to take up much room, but yeah, that's really all I need. Deodorant, you know, hair care. Yeah, I can make it pretty simple. So that's pretty well what I take camping with me all the time. So just because I'm away from home and maybe I'm going off my diet every now and then, it does not mean I'm going to deviate from my skincare. I haven't. And even though I've had, you know, there's been sun outside and I've been camping and out in the elements, I'm still using my Retin-A. Some people said, are you going to go off Retin-A while you're away? I said, no, I'm not. I'm going to stick to my program. I am, if nothing, I am dedicated. If nothing else, I am dedicated to my skincare regimen. So, and it's working. So I don't want to deviate off that. So thanks so much for watching the video. I know it's another long one. I hope you have enjoyed some of my vacation videos. I'll probably link them to the end of this. And Jay and I just had a, had a great time up in Booth Bay Harbor. So thank you for watching the video. Please like, subscribe, leave me a comment, and ring that bell so you'll be notified. Thanks so much, guys. Bye-bye.